Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Extra Chat Reviewers. In this video, I have a quick little app review for Radar Scope for the iPhone and iPod Touch, so let's get right into this. Now, I do want to thank the developers for sending out a promo code for this application. It was $9.99 in the App Store when they did send it. And I also received a promo code for the Mac App Store version, which I did a review on, which you can click the screen right now to go over and see a review on. Uh, so, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this. So as you can see, you can kind of pan around, and I can zoom in on Cincinnati, which is where I live. And if I click this little locate button right here, it will locate exactly where I'm at on the map, which I'm not going to do. If I click this button here, it will show the different radars, and they will kind of sweep the area. If I zoom out, there we go. Some of them will disappear, the smaller ones, and the, only the bigger ones will show up, and I can just click those. Uh, and kind of see from a, at a glance kind of thing. If I click on a different one, then that one will kind of go away and then this one will show. So yeah, that's kind of neat. If I click that again, it'll just go back to this way, this view with all the different cities and stuff. I can change the different reflectivity products as it calls it or whatever else there is. There's a bunch of different things I can change it to. Some of them will not work, uh, or at least it didn't the other day. Oh good, they're working. Uh, just some of them just didn't work because it said it wasn't available on this product, which is kind of weird. But uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to scroll all the way back up to base reflectivity one because that's pretty much normal, I think. I can, if I zoom in here, hit radars, turn on this one, I can hit this play button and see after it loads it all up where the storms are headed. I can zoom in a bit on them. These are pretty small storms, there's not really anything big going around right now. But uh, yes, I can see that. All the blue lines are like interstate highways and stuff, which I can turn off through the menu here. If I go into, oh, I think it's settings, maybe not, I forget where it's at. But I'm going to go into radars here, and you can see which ones are online. Some of them are not, you can click on them and see it's shut down, whatever, it's being, you know, upgraded or whatever, or if it's broken. You can add favorites. I don't have any right now. Warnings, no warnings in effect. Those are nationwide. And then display, I can display, here it is. Cities, highways, warnings, storm tracks. Storm tracks are kind of neat, but I don't know if I'm gonna get any because I don't think there's anything that big going on right now. Yeah, they're not gonna really track those, but they kind of show like a path of where exactly it's going to go. I have some on the Mac app review, which you can see pretty much the same thing. I like those on. Settings here, radar data, you can change it from NOAA to IMAP weather, which is another app. And uh, storm tracks is NOAA, and then spotter network, which I'm not in or anything. You can go into advanced here and change it to expert mode and stuff, but I'm not doing that because I'm not an expert on this. Sorry about that. Okay, and then support, pretty self-explanatory. So this app is very good if you want to uh, view, uh, if you're a meteorologist and want to view like all the different radars and stuff on the go with your iPhone, you can put it in the landscape mode as well and zoom in and stuff. These things kind of mess up, it seems like that. I don't know if that's messed up or if that's how it's supposed to be, but it's kind of small when you put it in the landscape mode. But when you put it back, it goes back. So that's kind of weird, but yes. Yeah, so this is Radar Scope for the iPhone and iPod Touch. I definitely recommend it if you are a hardcore weather enthusiast or a meteorologist, but for the average user, this isn't going to be that helpful because it doesn't have like, uh, you know, current conditions or um, humidity or, you know, temperature or whatever. So, but definitely for uh, hardcore weather enthusiasts, this is a great one. You can see there's some storms down there. And it's fun to just kind of look around at the different maps. So check it out, link in the description, and uh, check it out. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you like my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Peace.